Greetings, friends, and welcome to the den with me, J Mac, the Red Island Shaver. So very glad to have you aboard here on a uh, a Monday video. Don't do these too often anymore, but uh, yeah, I wanted to get this one done after hearing the news yesterday. So um, yeah, we'll just get started here, guys. Get into it, the bougie Mister. Get some water on the face here and uh, go in for the pre-shave cube that I use for every shave now and uh, I'll get this massaged into a week and a half worth of growth. Yes, that's right. I have a lot of whiskers to shave off here today. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it lately, gang. Just haven't been feeling it and uh, took a little sabbatical again. I've been doing those this summer. Just been kind of you know, enjoying the, uh, enjoying letting the facial hair grow out a little bit and just kind of doing the shaves my way and, and, uh, and yeah, it will feel nice to get this off the face though. It is getting pretty egregious, you know, when you can reach up and grab your whiskers and pull them off your face. Um, it's time to, uh, it's time to have a shave. So hopefully everybody's having a, a good day, good start to the week. Um, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely sad. There's a, there's no doubt about that, as a lot of you guys know. And by the title of this video, um, we lost a member of our community, Frank Stromby, uh, from Sweden. And uh, Frank was a great fella, great friend. Uh, I've talked to Frank quite a few times. You know, even like just in Facebook Messenger, uh, not just on YouTube here in the comment sections on our various channels. And uh, yeah, he was a he was a really 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 good fella. So for today's shave, we're gonna use Wickham 1912 English Rose. It's a great scent on this. Really really nice scent. Uh, I actually really enjoy this. And the funny thing is, I really don't care for florals at all. Florals just aren't really my jam. Um, this came to me, uh, we're going to use the, uh, Medi Lintone brush. Uh, this came to me via, I think Harry Wong sent it, or did Dave send it? I, I forget if it came from, from Dave or from Harry Wong, but I know it was the Swedish boys and, uh, and Dave were in on this. Uh, they sent me this soap set a couple years back. And Frank was actually the one that picked the scent on this. Um, and he figured it would be something I would like. And I don't like florals. I just don't like florals at all. But Frank being Frank, he was a smart cookie. Really, really smart guy. And uh, turns out I actually really, really like this one. So the scent notes on this, uh, there's different roses. There's pink and red rose. There's geranium. There's iris, I believe. I think there's iris. Uh, there's like a, like a dirt note, like an earthy note, like patchouli. I didn't uh, I didn't look up the scent notes on this um, prior to recording this. Just been I just been kind of all over the place uh, since yesterday, so you'll have to forgive me on that. I can uh, I can look up the um, I can look up the scent notes. So after I uh, after I do this and uh, put them. In the description box down below. It's great smelling soap though. Wickham, it's a vegan formula. It's a really nice soap. Really, really, really nice soap. But yeah, I've been... Oh, I was just gutted. Absolutely gutted yesterday when I saw that Frank had passed away. And I was even more gutted um, by the fact that uh, I saw that Frank passed at the end of June and uh, that makes me feel really really terrible because uh, you know people get busy you know we all get busy like even here on YouTube it's 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 nothing for people to take a break um, you know from making videos content but you'll, you'll see them in the comment section and they pop up from time to time and you just you know think everything's okay and and we don't sometimes do a very good job of keeping tabs on one another. And uh, I feel like some of that is the case here. 
and I'm really, uh, I'm really bummed out that I never got the chance to tell Frank, uh, you know, how much I respected him, how much he meant to me, uh, as a friend, and, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's it's really tough. So I think uh, I think we can all take an important takeaway from this, and that is we we got to keep better tabs on each other. If somebody goes silent, if somebody goes dark, whether it's you know it's on social media uh, or on YouTube or wherever wherever you're used to interacting with them, um, we gotta we gotta do a better job of reaching out to each other and dropping a line and you know making sure everything is okay. And, uh, and yeah, just keep, uh, keep an eye out on one another is, uh, is what I'm getting at. I'm just going to adjust this camera just a little bit. Pardon the shake that may happen here. I'm just going to turn that a little bit. There. So, yeah, um, I think it's the biggest takeaway for that. We just, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to keep an eye on one another. I'm sure there's a few of us that are echoing that sentiment. I know Maddie was really, really close with, uh, really, really close with Frank. And if you haven't seen Maddie's video, uh, go check that out. He did a tribute shave to Frank today. Um, I know they were really close, and uh, I know Maddie is uh, is taking it pretty hard. Uh, Johan, Dave Card, uh, you know, kind of the inner circle. Uh, or, or, you know they're they're taking it hard so think of those guys too maybe reach out you know and uh and talk to those guys send them a send them a hug or you know or you let them know you're thinking of them too and uh yeah so we'll get into the shave that is the lather looks good to me i don't think i want to add any more water than that so the razor today i know frank was a big whack fan i got way too much growth i just don't want to deal with that so i kind of want to do an experiment with my schick golden 500 with a uh, fourth use schick blade i absolutely love this razor it's one of my best razors i think frank would uh frank would want us to shave one of our favorite razors so that's what we're going to do today uh and i want to see how this does on this much growth uh, i was going to go with the de but i i feel the heavier blade and the thicker blade that's in the shick is going to uh it's gonna get the job done a little bit better and yeah that's that felt good right there in the cheek no tugging no pulling yeah very nice that's uh that's handling the whiskers, absolutely no problem. Perfect choice in razor. Man, love the sound of it doing doing its work. Just love that uh, that razor singing on the face. does feel nice to get back in the den again. It's also been super, super warm here too, which is one another reason I just really haven't been all that into wanting to shave. It's just been so hot. And uh, this this bathroom gets really, really hot. And, uh, you know, just the thought of even coming in here to do a shave, even a mentholated shave was just not, not appealing. So, yeah, it feels really good to get in here. Got a nice cool lather going today. I've got my uh, scuttle filled up with some cold water for a nice cool lather. The temperature actually broke today, so it's like 22 degrees Celsius today with no humidity, which is great because yesterday it was almost 40 degrees Celsius, which is, oh, what is that? On Fahrenheit, 100 and, 100 and some. It was, uh, it was spicy. It was very, very warm. Way too warm for my liking. Mm. 
Really, really digging the scent on this. Ah, oh, such a good soap. Such a good soap. Going nice and slow here on these strokes. I've kind of come to learn that going on my across the grain shaving fast is not advantageous. It's actually better to go slow. Yeah, those nice slow strokes seems to help the blade do a better job of cutting through the whiskers without uh, giving me irritation. So, and I can already feel that I'm pretty much already BBS on the neck. So this pass is going to go relatively quick. Uh, feeling great. That's the one thing about my face. It's really weird. Uh, I, I can daily drive with certain razors, but even then uh, I'm getting a tiny bit of irritation. The skin feels just a little bit off. But if I let it grow out for a few days, I get such great shaves. That's BBS right there. Just this little area right here, my trouble spot. Beautiful. Very nice. That's um, that right there is the beauty of a well prepped beard. Pairing the, uh, you know, a good razor and blade choice to the growth you're going to tackle. That worked out perfectly. Man, so smooth. And once again, this trouble area here. Kind of grows at a funny angle. So I kind of have to tackle it at a, at a couple different angles, which is uh, kind of a pain in the butt to be fair. But anyway, going for the quick rinse here, quick rinse of the brush. I absolutely love this brush, a gift from Maddie, handmade in Sweden by the man himself. Very quick rinse. Oh yeah, that feels better. Probably looks better too, I was getting pretty fuzzy. My wife uh, didn't really mention anything about it, but she likes it when I have a beard anyway, so maybe she thought I was, I was growing the beard again, but uh, yeah, no, <laughs> joke's on her. <laughs> joke's on her. Oh man, that was nice. Make sure I get all the lather out of my ears. All right, very nice. So we're going to go with the, the matching balm. Let's give this a little shake. I absolutely destroyed this balm container. I had to take the, the pump top off because it just didn't work. So now I just actually, if I can get that to work, which it may not, no. It does not, so now the struggle is real. Now I gotta try and get this insert out. I thought it worked before, this is the way, no, it didn't work. So now I gotta get this, try and pop this insert out, which doesn't wanna come out, to uh, get at the, at the stuff that's within. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to have to do this off camera. Back in a minute. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we got it apart. There is the, uh, there is the good stuff, the bomb. And we'll just scoop some out with the finger. 
good little schnurdle. Yeah, it still smells good. And we'll just put everything back together when we're done. It's actually pretty easy to take the top off. I just forgot how to do it. <laughs> so, and I was kind of freezing up on camera. It was like a deer in the headlights. It's like, oh shoot, I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. How I get this apart. And then we'll just get this massaged into the face. Oh yeah, I really like uh, the Wickham's Balm. Actually, oh yeah, that was a really nice shave, guys. That's like a super BBS, like super dolphin smooth, absolutely no irritation. Oh, really, really, really good. And that was plenty of bomb, just a little, just a little finger full is enough. And we'll just snap that back together. Where I will probably promptly forget about how to uh, take it apart again in the future. And then you can all watch me uh, struggle on uh, on camera again but anyway guys that's gonna be the shave uh thanks so much for tuning in so uh once again uh frank rest in peace brother uh we're, we're gonna miss you uh, the white shaving community definitely lost uh lost an icon so uh, everybody i'll uh, hold frank in your thoughts and uh reach out to one another um you know somebody uh kind of goes uh silent reach out and uh at least say hello how you doing and, and that good stuff so uh so I'll leave you with that. So until next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another, have a great day, an even better shave, and remember, you're never alone. Take care. We'll see you later. Peace.